Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel where we take up our bed and walk or we make up our bed and strut, okay? So if you want to see how I achieve this look here, please stay tuned and you will find out the details, baby. This is so cute. Alright, stay tuned. Sometimes that red gets in there. Uh, red nail polish will stain the nails. So I'll just go over it again with some nail polish remover. Okay, we're going to push back the cuticles. This really does make a difference. I apologize if the camera is shaking, but every time I do this, the camera shakes. Look at that. I'm just going to push them back now, and then I'll go back through with the drill and get that up. Or some sort of tool, maybe not the drill. So right now I am doing my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. But for some reason I love the way how this turns out. Um, usually, usually now, the nails um, on this hand, on my right hand, they tend to come out the shape that I absolutely want. I don't know if it's because I have to take my time to be more careful, but more than likely, that's, the, that's what it is. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a soft drill bit. So we're just going to take this out of here. Got this drill bit from, or this drill from Amazon. I forget how much it was. Now we're just going to turn it on. And I'm just going to go through and try to get up. This is very soft. This does not hurt at all. It's very, it's almost dull, but it's not. And I'm just trying to work that dry skin off the cuticle. Or not off the cuticle, but it's already lifted from what I just did. There we go. Is this recording? It is. It is. I'm going to give myself a ring of fire. I'm not even sure if I could do that with this particular bit, but I don't want to see, so. Now what I'm going to do is take this 
and just go over. This is a cuticle cleaner or whatever. I'm not sure. It's getting rid of that, that skin. You see that? I have one ring light on, so if the quality of this video seems a little different from the first nail video. First nail video, I had two on, I believe. I usually would. But it's early, and I just don't want both of those lights on. That looks good. That looks really, really good. have to take your time with this because you can cut yourself you can cut yourself and you have to mess around and not have no nails on that finger no nail on that finger that you cut yourself because it'll be too painful you run the risk of bacteria getting in there okay so that is that okay and now what I like to do after a cuticle getting close to the cuticles like that spray a little alcohol find out if there's any um, stinging and it's not. All right, we are ready to start. All right, so I dip that in there. Drag it out on one side. Trying to get my bead, which is going to be my base of my nail. Let it chill for a couple seconds. So I'm trying to avoid, I can't talk while I do this, I just can't. This is Tatcha Belly. I should go around the cuticle. Oop, make sure I'm in camera view. I should go around the cuticle and around the cuticle. The nail bed, rather. Get in there, drag that along. And now I'm going to go in with my purple glitter chalk that I made myself. We're going to let this chill for a second. It's thickening up. It's going to be less runny, easier to work with. And we're just going to put that there and kind of form the nail shape of our desire. And I can tell I need more product, more something. I promise y'all, I know what I'm doing. I just, it's hard to talk and do it. So I don't want this to be too big because I still have to do another layer for um, encapsulation. So that's what that looks like there. Clean the brush. Set that there and grab. Where's my tools? There they are. And so now I'm going to place that there. And this is like going to be going to have a clear shell, a clear thing of acrylic over top of it. And that's what is called encapsulating um, your design. So now I'm going in with my clear, and this is Mia Secrets. This was the first acrylic I got familiar with. And I'm just going to put that on the top ever so gently because you don't want to wipe off what you did 
what you're trying to encapsulate. So now I'm just going to go back. And again, I'm doing this with my non-dominant hand, so if it looks a little awkward, a little weird, to be mindful not to knock over my monomer. Because then it wouldn't be a tutorial to be a ranting video. Alright, so I need a little something something right there. And I'm going to go in with some purple again. Because it just looks a little empty right there. I don't know. Shape is off. Let it let it sit. I hope this is all on camera. It looks like it is. Okay. And now we're just gonna fill that little space there. And we're only going to there we go. That's that's the shape I wanted. And now I'm just going to make sure I get as most as much of the monomer out of my brush because this is too. Yeah, there you go. You see that? See how that side side just went in? Couldn't have done that with a bunch of monomer. It would have made that runny. It would have made what I was trying to whip into shape runny, and then I would have had to apply it again. So that's that one. And I think I want to go into that corner right there with a little more. I definitely take my time more with this hand. Because you don't want to get to the point where you're taking off the um, where you're taking off the nail forms and then you realize that you have a bunch of weak areas that aren't uh, able to withstand, you know, hits and stuff. One good hit and the nail gonna come off, uh-uh, or the nail gonna break. We don't want that. So now I'm moseying on to my next nail. Dip that in the monomer. And I'm going in with my bubble pink I believe this is $9.99 on Amazon there's plenty of videos on how to make the chalk uh, acrylic so I have some up on well I guess that's a different channel so never mind and now we're just trying to avoid flooding the cuticle area avoid flooding the sidewall and we are trying to get it as close to those areas as possible. And now I'm just trying to drag it and smooth it out. Absolutely love how this set turned out. First, I was like, "What?" Mm. I just wanted something, you know, just just wanted some nails. And after I finished with that one hand, I was like, "Whoa, that turned out pretty darn good. I like that." Uh, I think this is my first time doing the purple on top or a color on top that is and um, clear on the bottom and it just works my goodness it works so this is the nail that I usually would have problems out of so I am going to be mindful you know problems as far as like not liking the shape once I'm done and wondering what I was thinking about when I did the shape like I didn't I didn't notice that when I was making it you see those things on um, Instagram where 
the girl saying, this is what I wanted, this is what I asked for, this is what I got. And then people, it's always a bunch of people in the comment section that say, you sat through and let them do that and didn't say anything. And that's kind of like what it is, what it feels like, because it's like, okay, I literally did that nail and didn't notice how wonky it looked. Like, what is, what was going on with me? So, I've learned to, when I do that one, just take my, take extra care. And I got these designs from Amazon as well. And I'm trying to get that to push up. Because I want that bigger one to be, if it's not laying flat when you first put it on, it's not going to lay flat and you're going to be fouling away edges of it. It's so annoying. Okay, so that's good. That's good enough. I'm going to go in and we're going to get some clear acrylic. The Mia Secrets. We're going to encapsulate that. Let that sit for a second. All right, see how pretty that is? That is absolutely gorgeous. Something about creating. I don't. It's so, it's just awesome to create, you know, some people, they create different things, obviously. Some people are here to create buildings, and some people are here to create hairstyles and, and all that, design clothes, design structures of companies, you know, administrative-wise. But just, just seeing your ideals come together, it's very satisfying. Ooh, 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 I love the shape of that this time. That never happens. Ever. So I'm going in with the Mia, Sia, Mia Secret Monomer. Going in with the Tachi Belly Bubble Pink Acrylic Powder. Letting that sit, letting that sit. And going in, this nail is also, it's, it's been like uniquely shaped all of my life, all of my life. I remember being a kid showing my mom, I thought like maybe I had slammed my finger in a door or something. And as I've gotten older, I realize that, no, this nail is like, I wish the rest of my nails were shaped like this. It, it just has a unique structure to it. And I've grown to love it. Because I've yet to see anybody else with a nail like that. Anyway. So now we are just shaping this and preparing it for the purple. And I'm going to go around the cuticles. I haven't been doing that enough. I have not been doing that enough. I try to avoid the cuticles. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but... They ain't bothering me. I ain't trying to bother them. Going in with my chalk. Oh, and I got the, the chalk from... Walmart, and I got the glitter from, where did I get the glitter from? Family Dollar, or Dollar Tree. Wait, that's purple glitter. I ain't get no purple glitter from Dollar Tree. It's been so long ago. Alright, so, the clear went up a little further than the rest of the nails, but that's fine because I can always, it gives it more of an, a different type of ombre. If, if we can call it ombre, I don't know. And I have a bad habit of not 
looking at the numbers on the nail forms and just gauging where I want the nail to be. So if it seems like it is a little longer or shorter, it might be, it might be. I don't sweat the small stuff. If I was doing somebody else's nails, of course I would pay attention to the number, but I'm not. The one person's nails that I wanted to do, that I wanted to practice on and keep laid and, you know, just hands looking cute, my daughter. And she's not into nails like that. She was at one time, but let her tell it, she's over it. She likes to play um, guitar and what's the other one? The ukulele. And so she said the nails, you know, they get in the way and yeah. She let me try one time and I started putting some bling on there. And she was like, uh-uh. She said everything does not call for bling. Oh, I love this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. The perfect shaped nail, the perfectly shaped nail is like, a breath of fresh air I tell you you can look at it and just feel satisfied for some reason it's like it's like getting off work and walking to your car that you saved up and worked hard for and you're proud of it's like okay work might have been crap might have had a rough day at the job but this is the fruits of my labor All right, we are almost done. And the pinky, I have to make sure um, learning what you learning what you from your mistakes is key. And I know that I usually put too much product on this pinky. I tend to put the same amount of bead that I do on my other nails. And as you can see, the pinkies are smaller, so. It's not necessary. And I'm just trying to get that to go. And I always forget to turn my nails, my, my hand, to get the acrylic to go all the way to the side. So knowing, knowing is half the battle. Knowing what you need to work on. And of course, I flooded the cuticle, so I'm gonna go back in real quick before that gets comfortable and dries. This brush is, what kind of brush is this? I've had it for a while. It is 100% Kalinsky from Amazon. I believe it was 24, and this is a size 10. When I first started out, I was convinced that the bigger brushes was the way to go. And I was in a 24, if there is a 24. Whatever the highest brush is on Amazon, that's what I was going to. So now I'm going to... <clears throat> you already know what I'm doing. I shouldn't have to walk you through this part. Get off of there. Okay, let me stay focused. And now we're just dragging that along. Stretching it out to make it the length and to make it thin enough to receive something to be encapsulated. That looks a little too long. Clean the brush, clean the brush. 
And I'm going in with this one. Picking up the brush again. Dip it in the monomer. And we're going in with the clear. Let that get a little... A little dry and now we're going to place it from the top and make sure it spreads across the whole top of the nail and then I'm dragging it back and this is just my technique I've never gone to school for this so if this is one of your first videos of mine so if this is like the, the technique they did not teach you in school or your cousin don't do and she went to school for it, this is just what works for me. And now I get the brush wet, but I don't want it dripping. We never want it dripping. And this is to go in and shape what I just applied on there. And I'm going back the other way. One way was to put it on and the other way is to shape it. Make sure you get, pay attention to what goes down the side of the nail form because that is what you're going to have to foul away. I remember my stuff used to drip all the way down here. And I had to get scissors and clip and cut thinking that it could be fouled away with ease and it's like, I mean, now I probably have the drill bits to do that, but at first, that first set of drill bits was very basic and dull, and they wasn't sharp enough to be doing that with every application. So now I'm cleaning my brush, and we're going to take these nail forms off, starting with the first one that we did. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I still got a thumb. Lord help. I'll do the thumb off camera. You guys get the picture. And that one's freshly done, so we're gonna let that sit. All right, so now this one is ready to come off. And I've already done my thumbnail off camera, like I said. So now we're gonna go in with our <clears throat> Handy dandy, sandy, foul. And I'm trying not to shake the table. So I'm just getting, that's how that looks after you take the nail fouls off. And I'm just going in. To get underneath there. my nails to be um, not oval but square there we go especially at the tips like give me a good straight across Sometimes I show all the nails being fouled and sometimes I don't. I feel like putting this in the video this time. I know when I watch nail videos, I watch to see the acrylic laying. Um, and I watch to see the design. Oh, those are pretty. That one could have been strengthened right there, but it's okay. It's okay. 
All right, so now I'm getting my drill bit back out. And we're going to change the drill because this is not going to work on what we need to do. Hold on. Okay, so we are going in with our design. All right, so now I'm taking my, I don't know what this tool is called, but you can get this, the thing I'm sticking in the gel, and the gel for $5.99 from Amazon. And I'm going to drag this straight across. It's going to be like a long cross. And then it's going to go over here. And it's going to go over here. Okay. Set that to the side. That can be really messy, so be careful with that. Like, what is that? All right. So, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to start off with the jewels. And I'm just trying to mimic as close as possible the design that I have on the other hand. Ooh, child. Now I'm going to put that down since that got glue all over it. And I'm going to grab my other one. Where is my other one? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I gotta grab the same one. I don't know what I did with the other one. There it is. It was underneath something. Cause I ain't trying to mess up my jewels, have them sticking and sticking to each other in the case. Cause then you won't be able to use them. And the jewels are like $5.99 or $9.99 on Amazon. For a case that you see here. Alright, so now we're moving this on down. Just to make sure everything is lined up. See that? That is cute. That is cute. That is cute. Okay, so I'm going to put this one up very carefully. Don't want to drop the jewels. I call them jewels, but they're like rhinestones, crystals. And this one is it's on this side. So I'm just going to line this side with these. Is this on camera? I got to make sure I remember to think about my audience. Y'all want to see. Okay, see how these jewels can be a little challenging. If the glue gets everywhere and the jewels don't comply. Maybe it's something I'm doing. everybody else they just maybe I need a smaller stabber thing because this is awfully wide now that I think about it yep we're just pushing those in there trying to keep the shape of the first jewels that we set on there let me get that off of there why is that doing that Come on, Spring. You belong over there. All right, a few more of the other ones. My hand is shaking. Is it that deep? All right. So, come on. How about, how about that? How we all get in formation? Shout out to Bianca. <laughs> Alright. See how those greens are kind of stuck together? 
I don't know if y'all saw that, but. All right, and now we're just putting a cluster of grain on that side. Jewel placement can make or break a nail. Sometimes I get it, it's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss. But if it looks good on one hand, it's gonna look good on the other hand. If you just follow the, follow what you did, honey. Follow the pattern laid out before you. All right, so that is nice. It's nice. Oh, we got we got something going on on the other side. Hold on, hold on now. I forgot I did put something over there in that section. Um, well, so it's not going to be identical to the other side because I don't think I did a design on this side. But I'm definitely not just going to leave a blob of glue. I guess I could have took a Q-tip and wiped it off. That's cute. They're in the same family. They're in the same family. All right, so now we're going to cue this in the, the LV lamp. Let me, get, let, me, let me get this stuff together. All right, you guys, so this is the end video. Um, this is encapsulated purple grill it, uh, gr glitter acrylic yeah my own little creation all right you guys don't forget to take up that bed and walk or make up that bed and strut all right see you next video